Italian police say they are treating the death of American artist Ashley Olson as a homicide. Italian news agency ANSA reports the 35-year-old was last seen with friends at a nightclub Thursday night, but her computer was active until noon Friday. Her body was found after her, her boyfriend, who, with whom she'd had an argument, alerted police that she wasn't answering her phone and he was concerned, and so he and the landlord went into the apartment with a key and found her there. Her body was unclothed with bruises and scratches around her neck. Police say witnesses confirmed the boyfriend's alibi. Olson's death has drawn comparisons to the high-profile murder case involving Amanda Knox. The American college student was convicted and later cleared by an Italian court of the 2007 murder of her roommate, Meredith Kircher, a British national. Knox's lawyers accused Italian investigators of framing her, and she spent four years in an Italian prison before she was fully exonerated last year. Now the two cases have a common link. The police investigator who announced case closed in the Amanda Knox in the Meredith Kircher murder case when Amanda Knox was arrested just five days after her death is the same lead uh, uh, inspector uh, for the police in this Florentine case. I like to see a thorough investigation and a careful investigation this time. Uh, Amanda Knox was a, a tragic a destruction of a, of a young American's life uh, by shoddy police work, and I certainly hope that they get it right. Olson moved to Florence from Florida three years ago to be near her father, an architect working in Italy. The artist frequently posted pictures on Instagram. One post of interest to investigators is from October, where she writes, I have a stalker, stalker alert, creeper in the back. Olson's grandmother describes her as a beautiful girl who owned a beagle named Scout. A close friend says Ashley was a free spirit. She was just very adventurous, loved, she loved Italy. I've never met anyone quite like Ashley. She uh, had her special spark. And she, anyone that met her, loved her.